Hi guys, this is a quick demo on uh, how the new vector instant messaging feature is building up. I have one physical vector and uh, two virtual users, Filippo and Andrea, and uh, I'm going to show you how vector can exchange messages with uh, the human users, so we can send messages to them and can receive messages from them. To make things simple, um, and have very easy voice comments, Vector needs to select the user uh, to whom uh, he's sending messages. So uh, if uh, he selects uh, the user of Filippo, then the, all the next uh, messages will go to Filippo. And if he selects Andrea, then uh, he will send messages to Andrea. But of course, he can receive messages from both. Okay, let's uh, start uh, by setting vector target to Filippo. Hey Vector, chat with Filippo. Okay, mm, now the Filippo user is set and Vector will send messages to this user. So let's try. Hey Vector, say hello. Here it comes, message from Vector. Hey Vector, say I'm doing good. Okay, and now let's see how Vector can also receive messages we send from this chat. Hey Vector. Say, how's the weather today? Imagine uh, I want to call Vector for dinner. Well, I can just type a message here, like uh, um, dinner is ready, and click send. Messages for Vector are received by a simple server running on the Raspberry Pi that uh, is hosting Wirepod, so whenever a message from my computer goes to the server, the server routes it to Vector. The chat server is running on my computer and it uses uh, my SQL database to store the messages, so whenever uh, a message is sent, a new record is created in uh, the database and Vector has an API to pull out uh, all the messages for him. All the messages that are pulled out by Vector are automatically flagged as read. So the history is maintained, but Vector knows uh, what the new messages are. It's uh, still very simple. I basically took an example that I found on the internet and I modified it a little just to have the whole thing uh, up and running in approximately one day of coding. Uh, it will need um, several changes, especially if you want to run it in an environment where several vectors from different networks uh, uh, register on the server and uh, communicate uh, with each other. But I think it's already quite impressive to see vector chatting with a program on the computer Basically, I could run this uh, um, server on the internet and so the chat application could be on my phone and uh, I'm sending uh, text messages to Vector and Vector plays the messages back and uh, someone uh, can interact with Vector and uh, ask uh, him to say something to me and uh, I will receive uh, 
this message as a text on my application. So um, I'm really happy of uh, how it's coming up and I think that uh, this is quite promising, especially because now we are uh, using at the end user level. So it's a user chatting with another user, but it could be that a vector is chatting with another vector and uh, the data is not just text, but uh, these are uh, protocol information. So two vectors could use the chat uh, feature to cooperate uh, doing some task, for example. Okay, that's it for today and uh, see you next. Bye-bye.